Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in the previous video, we did our Transex plan to take the XR2 up to the Aero Freighter. And in this video, we're going to finish up the rendezvous. I don't know if we'll do the docking in this video or not, because as I stated in earlier parts, there is an issue with that. Uh, before we go any further, I'm going to say, and I will say this at the beginning of every video, the Aero Freighter at the time of this recording is not available for general download so um you can't get it so like if you leave a comment down below where can i go download it you can't i'm sorry uh hopefully it will be available for general download um at some point uh dan steph did post a video a while back saying that he was working on it i haven't seen anything since then and that video was quite a while ago so who knows when it will be available uh with all that said let's go ahead and continue on with our mission let me switch camera views all right, so all we need to do now, uh, since we completed our burn to get up to the Aero Freighter, we're gonna warp time forward. Let me, let me see here. So this is the time that we expect to do the encounter, 0337, so it's not super far out into the future. Let me warp time forward, and let me just put my mouse right here. When I get to that point, I'm gonna see about, you know, if I wanna try to do any kind of additional correction. And coming up to that point, right there, back to real time. So I didn't see anything move there, but we can still see if we can tighten up that uh, closest approach a little bit. I'm just gonna use control thrust. So that's not helping in that direction. So if I go that way a little bit, that helps bring it down. A little bit in that direction brings it down. And I got lucky, so, so I'm doing a bit of uh, control thrust here so this is a super super tiny amount of delta v and again since you know we're going for like a an object that's not huge like a like a phobos or demos the the closer we can get to it you know the more bang on accurate we're going to be now we did have a transponder which i set up but uh Let's see. How far away are we? I don't know how far away we are at the moment. Let me let me think about this. If I go to dock, but I don't have any information. So, hmm. I should be able to at least complete the rendezvous because I should. This should have long range because uh, it was de defaulted to 108 but it might have honestly it might have only defaulted to 108 because the because it's not available at all so this might be interesting i might not have any information to tell me my relative velocity to the aero freighter so we might be doing this buck roger style never mind we just got our information so forget everything i just said that was good timing <laughs> so good news we have distance to the aero freighter and I'll put that up on the HUD. So now we're going to warp time forward. We'll watch our closest approach, but it looks to be fine. And what is our... Oh, wow, we got a pretty large encounter velocity. So let's uh, take that into consideration right now. So if we're going to have an encounter velocity of that number, let's get an idea of what that's going to cost in terms of, uh, in terms of kilometers to get rid of it. So let's say 963... So we need 25 kilometers to get rid of that much velocity. So we need to keep that in mind. Let's even say 26 kilometers. We need 26 kilometers to get rid of that much velocity difference. All right. Um, do I really need this up anymore? I don't think so. Let me let me go ahead and have docking up on this side. That'll be helpful. And let's keep burn time up on this side. Do we still have that number in? Did it remember it from one to the other? Yeah, it did. Okay, so using the full power of the XR2 main engine, which means we'll need to be retrograde to the Aero Freighter. So let's uh, continue warping time forward. Let's get uh, to like 200 kilometers, let's get to 300 kilometers and then we'll go retrograde. <coughs> A little bit faster. Okay, now I'm, I'm panicking, so let's go with that number. Rotation. And let's rotate around until we find the uh, negative velocity vector. Let 
we can use the uh, we can face the aero freighter that velocity vector right there if we wanted but uh, the burn will be more efficient if we use the main engines for really small burns I like to use the retro engines and face the object when it's just like 20 meters a second or something like that but this is a pretty substantial burn so just rotating around there's our negative velocity vector kill rotation go ahead and get the nose right on it just like that and we'll get a little bit closer and then we'll check our velocities again so let's go down to because we know you know we're looking at like 26 kilometers so at the very least we can get down to like 100 kilometers out all right oh well overshot that a bit so let's just really quickly check our numbers 961 we put in nine let's go ahead and uh i guess we'll leave it right where it's at because that does seem to be going up a little bit but we're coming up onto the time the time to do the burn really soon and we don't want to miss that so make sure we're at real time and we are we're at 52 kilometers and we're going to do this burn at 26 so let's get ready to burn so 45 distance 40 so 26 we might even probably when I see 27 I'll actually start the burn because there's always a little bit of delay between what I see and then the information getting transmitted to my finger burning and if we come up uh, if we're a kilometer or so out it's fine we can translate over there so engine cut off in 40 seconds and if we look at uh, if we were to look at orbit MFD we would see our orbit growing becoming uh, the same orbit of the aero freighter try to keep that uh, nose right on the velocity vector 5, so we're four kilometers out 4, three kilometers 8, out 10 seconds left on the burn two kilometers out two, five seconds left on the burn And that's the end of the burn. So we came up, uh, I started the burn a bit sooner, but I was, like I said, I was panicking. So currently we're moving away at half meter. So let's translate. Um, currently I'm, I'm facing away from it. So I want to translate backwards just to make sure I'm moving in the general direction. So something like that. Rotation. Now we'll rotate around. I'll put in two taps of rotation and then time warp around. Now, again, we have this issue where we don't have a, uh, I don't have docking information for the port for the aero freighter. So here is what I think we're going to do. I thought I would actually, um, I, I didn't think I would actually get to this part of the video before I had a chance to talk to Dimitri, but alas, here I am. So there is the aero freighter let's uh translate Translation. make sure our velocity vector is pointed on to the aero freighter because wherever the velocity vector is pointed that's where you're going and we want to go about right there because the so so something else about this aero freighter it actually has four docking ports but only three of them are usable by the uh by the xr2 so there's actually one docking port like right up here there's one back here somewhere. Uh, so you, so the main docking port that the aero freighter has always had is the one underneath of the, let's call it the belly of the ship. The door's open and you dock inside and then the doors close. So the XR2 is uh, like in a womb of sort inside the aero freighter. That's the main one, that's docking port number one. Um, and in this version of the aero freighter, this might just be something Dimitri added, I'm not sure. But there is another docking port somewhere up here, but you don't go inside the vessel, you just dock to it, like on top. Um, and we might take a look at that just for fun. And then there's one back here, and then there's one along the side near the gravity wheel, but that one's not usable by the aero freighter, or by the uh, XR2. <clears throat> so with all that said, 
let us uh, start getting a bit closer to the aero freighter. I think we'll probably go for the traditional docking, uh, the one in the belly. Let me just warp time forward. One, nine, eight, seven, six hundred. Come out of uh, Rotation. time warp. Let me see if I can see those docking ports. So that's one. I don't know how well that shows up in the video playback, but there's one like right behind the tail. And I can see it. I know it's there. And then again, there's another one here, which you can't see. It's out of view. And I think the other one, maybe it's here. I, I was thinking it was up here, but maybe it's here. Maybe it's that spot right there. Um... But uh, anyway, let's uh, let's probably plan on going for the main uh, the main one, the one that you would be used to if you've used the Aero Freighter Translation. before. So let's translate over the or let's continue moving this way. So we'll go past the Aero Freighter, and just for fun, we can see what that looks like on the outside as we go by it. Two hundred. so and so these doors will open but uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get back inside now let's continue going let's go forward a little bit further let's get a little bit past it so that's probably good enough so let's uh, translate now so that we're no longer going away let's just kind of stop Park as best we can. Just get that relative velocity at essentially zero or maybe 0 0.01, whatever. It's good enough. So we, we're we're more or less parked. Uh, although it seems to be drifting away from me, but um, yeah. So we'll work quickly. <laughs> uh, let's see what do I need to do here? You know what'll help me? It'll help me tremendously if I can see the aero freighter. That way I can put the velocity vector. Of course I could always do that, but I prefer to be pointing in the direction I plan on going. And yeah, I guess we'll I guess we'll finish up the docking in this video, although we're not gonna be able to do it the normal way, but I'll I'll show you what I have in mind. Okay, so we're kind of rotating around. And now Translation. Let's just translate over and towards and a bit this way. So what I'm what I'm kind of wanting to do is translate over in the vicinity of the of the docking area. So let me quickly try to eliminate most of my velocity but still keep the velocity vector where I want to go. So that's approximately the area I want to go. Now just slow down. Okay, so now I just want to, I'm going to have to switch vessels. So now we're inside the aero freighter. And we need to open, I think it's this one. Now, if we had the orbiter sound, we would have had, we would have had a really cool sound effect there. But because I was having issues with sound, I just decided to use XR sound. So this is our, this is where we're going. But without, without, uh, without docking information. I have no clue how we could possibly get there with any semblance of accuracy. Rotation. So what we're going to do instead Rotation. is we're going to go to that general direction and then just use the scenario editor to dock us. If you have a better way of doing it, Translation. I'm all ears. Rotation. But we'll we'll get as close as we can to the place that we want to go. 
so that when we do use the scenario editor, it's just like, you know, <clears throat> but otherwise without, without having docking information, I don't know how to do this. Okay. So now we're rotated that way. Now we want to rotate this way. And this is going to be really hard to do without like referring to the external view a lot, which I, you know, me, that's a, that's kind of a no, no. So we'll get as close as we can. Let me think, is there any way I can figure this out? Translation. Without having a docking, without having docking information. And then my, and I'm positive it's not there because I've looked several times and that information is just not available because I don't think it's in the configuration file. So, and I don't want to just try to eyeball it because I feel like that's not too great. Let me bring this up on that side and close this out. And I guess at the very least, Morning. we can turn our head. Is closed. Um, Morning. Nose cone is closed. So we can Warning. at least open the nose cone. Nose cone is oh, there's the dock. There's Warning. docking port four. Nose cone is closed. You can see it right there, but you can't dock with that with the XR2. Yeah, this will be the only part of this mission, or hopefully the only part of this mission that I'm not super happy about, that, that we don't have that docking information. I'm really tempted to just save. Let's see what we can do here. And if it's really horrible, then I'll, I, what I might do is I might make an, uh, if I do this docking, I might make a, an addendum to this video to say, well, after adding the docking port information to the configuration file, this is how you really should have done it. Translation. But we can still get the general idea. And we need to move forward a bit. But yeah, you can see without having information, it's really hard for me to just eyeball this. In fact, let me let me do this. I mean, this is where we'll eventually want to go, but let's uh I think I might be able to eyeball one of the ones on top. So let's let's translate up a little bit because there's another docking port up here on top that we might be able to use and we might be able to eyeball it. But actually we're coming up really close on 20 minutes. So let me, let me zero out my velocity here. And I'm going to do a quick save and pause. So let's look at our situation really quick. So we have the XR2 nose cone open. And again, without having that docking port information, it's going to be really, really difficult for me to slide in there. Now, there isn't a huge co collision mechanism in Orbiter, so I could probably float through this stuff if necessary. But what I'm thinking I might do, um, there's a docking port up here, and I think it's right there. Yeah, I see where it's, I think it says dock or something there. So I can probably translate over in that direction and dock to that um, with some success, just visually. But, um, since we're since we're around 20 minutes let me just end this part of the video here and i think what i'll do is i'm going to save at this point i'm going to wait until i talk to dimitri and see what we can do about adding um the frequency information and the docking information so that we can do this properly so that's going to be the plan so if you like this uh, mission please leave me a comment down below and i will see you in the next part